Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to deploy application on Minikube using Argo CD CLI, right? So in previous session, we have learned how to deploy application on Minikube using Argo CD UI. And in this session, we are going to learn how to deploy application on Minikube using Argo CD CLI. Okay, so first of all, you need to install Argo CD and you need to access in a browser. That means, first of all, you need to uh, install the application. That means that deploy application on Minikube using Argo CD UI, right? So first of all, you need to set up the Argo CD. Then you need to access in browser, first of all, okay, to check. Okay, so as you can see here, I have already installed Argo CD. And as you can see in my UI, right? This is the Argo CD dashboard UI, right? So now that means I have successfully installed my Argo CD, right? So if you don't know how to install Argo CD uh, on Minikube and how to using Argo CD UI, so you can check my previous video, right? You can check my previous session that uh, how to deploy an application Minikube on Minikube using Argo CD UI, okay? So first of all, you need to install Argo CD on Minikube and you need to access the Argo CD in browser. So I have successfully installed Argo CD. And as you can see, I have successfully accessed in my browser. Okay. Now, now we are going to learn how to deploy application on Minikube using Argo CD CLI. Okay. So first of all, here you can see. First of all, you need to install Argo CD. So I have already installed Argo CD. And you can see here in browser, as you can see the port forwarding, right? That means uh, here I'm going to access in my browser. So that's why here I have run the command to forwarding the port. Okay. Now I'm going to open a new session, right? But same, same instance, right? Because uh, in this, in this session, uh, that the port forwarding so that's why here i'm going to open another right okay now here here if i run first of all i'm going to clear the screen first here if i run argo cd version so as you can see so the command not found right so to install argo cd on cli so first of all we need to run these commands okay so here install Argo CD using CLI. So let's check. So first of all, you can check the version. The, then, uh, then you can see we will uh, we, we, we got the uh, command not found, right? Now let's run the command to install Argo CD CLI. So first of all, as you can see, Argo CD provides a web interface and a command line interface. So let's install the CLI. So I'm going to using wget command. I'm going to install Argo CD CLI, right? Using wget command. So let's install. Okay, it's done. Now the next step is we need to give some permission. So the permission is chmod command. Okay, so I'm going to run this. Okay. After that, we need to move this to the particular location, right? We need to move this folder to the particular location. Now if I run the ls command, as you can see the folder. So we need to move this folder to the particular location. Okay, now if I run the ls command, as you can see, there is a no folder at Argo CD Linux, right? That means we have successfully moved this folder into this location. Okay. Now let's clear the screen. Okay. Now after that, let's check the version, right? Now let's check the version. That means Argo CD version. So as you can see the details of about Argo CD version, that means we have successfully installed Argo CD on CLI, right? That means command line interface. Okay. So let's clear the screen. Okay, now the next step is here. Let's log into the Argo CD using CLI. Okay, so here we need to log into our Argo CD in our CLI. Here we have successfully logged in our Argo CD on browser, that means on UI, right? Now we are going to log into our Argo CD in CLI. Okay, command line interface. So, how to 
auto login. So the command is like that. Argo CD login and then your instance IP slash uh, sorry, um, colon and 8080 the port number that we are going to forwarding here. Right. Okay. So let's copy the command. So first of all, enter log Argo CD login. Argo CD login. And then your instance IP. So my instance IP is here. I'm going to copy it and paste here and colon and the port number is 8080 okay then it will warning server certificate and the something can validate certificate for the because it doesn't contain any ip sense and something right insecurely so i can say yes oh it will ask username so my username is admin okay after that it will ask my password okay but here my password is like that so i'm going to stop and let's access first password our password so you can see the password command how to get our secret password right so our password is to get our password so the command is like that right so as you can see my password is here right so first of all i'm going to update my password so i'm going to copy my password and go to the ui and go to the settings then go to the accounts sorry go to the user info and update password so enter your current password and then i'm going to change my password and click on new password okay sorry So I'm going to enter my new password. And now click on save new password. So as you can see, your password has been successfully updated. Okay, now let's go to the CLI. Okay, now let's clear the screen first. Okay, now let's enter the command to log in our Argo CD. Okay. So the command is Argo CD login and then uh, uh, our instance IP is colon 8080. Then it will ask yes or no. See, so I can say yes. Then username is admin and my password. So I'm going to enter my password that we have updated. Okay, so as you can see the message, admin login, logged in successfully content, our instance IP colon 8080 updated. That means we are successfully logged into our Argo CD CLI. Okay. Now, if I go to the browser, so as you can see, as of now, there is, sorry, we logged out because we have changed our password. So, we need to log in with new password. Okay, so now as you can see, as of now, there is no any applications, right? You can see there is no any applications, create application, no application available to you just it and so on, right? Okay, now let's create an application using CLI. So as you can see, the next step is deploying an application, right? So you will use the Argo CD app create command providing the path to the git repository. So the specific helm guest book example and passing your default destination and namespace, right? So now we are going to deploy our application. That means we are going to create our application using CLI command, right? So you, if you, 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 can, you can see here in our browser, in your, our UI, there is no any application as of now, right? So let's create an application using CLI. So the command is like that. Here is the command to create an application. When we create our application using So when we create our application using UI, so simply we are going to create a new application and enter the field, the details, right, of our application. That means uh, project name and so on, right? Okay. Then when we create our application using CLI, so we need to enter a command to create our application. So here is the command to create our application. So our command is like that. You can see. 
So our command is Argo CD app create. The app name is Helm Guest Book. Then hyphen hyphen repo. And our repo is here, right? Then path. So our path is Helm Guest Book. Then destination server. So the kubectl.default.svc. And then namespace is default, right? That we have feel in our, that we, uh, we feel in our in this session, right? When we create our application using UI, so we need to fill this application name, project name, and so on, right? So here, as you can see in command, the same, right? So I'm going to copy the command and let's enter here. So as you can see, now I'm going to refresh my page and as you can see, there is no any application, right? Okay, so let's create. So here I'm going to copy the command and paste here, right? And let's create our. Okay, so as you can see, application Helm Guestbook created, right? Let's check. As you can see, Helm Guestbook, right? Project name default, status missing, out of sync, and repository head, Helm Guestbook, and cluster, and so on. Okay. So, so, so if I click on this, as you can see, app help missing, sync status out of sync. So we need to sync this. Okay. So now we are going to sync this using CLI. Okay. So how to sync? So first of all, I'm going to clear my screen. And then, so as you can see, after changing the application, Inside of Argo CD, you can check its status with Argo CD app and get Argo CD app, get Helm Guestbook, right? Then after that here, as you can see, this out of sync application status is normal. So you are retrieved the applications Helm chart from GitHub and created an entry for the uh, Argo CD. And in order to actually deploy an application, you will run the below command to Argo CD app sync Helm Guestbook. Okay, so we need to sync this first. Okay, so how to sync? So there is a command to sync our application. So let's run the command. So the command is here. As you can see our command Argo CD app sync Helm Guestbook. So the command is here to sync our application. So as you can see, it's out of sync. So let's sync. So as you can see the details of about our application, you can see the name, project, server, namespace, URL, report, target, path, sync window, sync policy, sync status, health status, progressing, right? Okay. And the phase is succeed is successfully. If I go to here and as you can see, the status is progressing and the sync is status synced and the app status now healthy. Now if I enter again the command, and now, as you can see, our health status is healthy now. Okay. That means you are successfully synced, right? You can see it's synced. Sync, okay. Okay. Now, after that here, let's check in Argo City UI. So you, uh, so you have now successfully deployed an application using Argo City, right? So as you can see, if you want to open, then you can check the in our UI. So that's why here I mentioned instance IP and the port number is 8080. So you can check the your application is synced now. Okay. Now after that, if, if you want to check the ports, so you can run the kubectl get ports. So as you can see, Helm guestbook, the rate status running. Right. Then after that, if, if you want to check the service, so you can say, Helm guest book and the port number is 8080. If you want to check the deploy. So as you can see, Helm guest book ready. One of one, up to date one, available one. And the age is 97 seconds ago. Okay. So now, now after that, after app healthy, after app is healthy to access Helm guest book deployment on browser. So we need to forward this port. To the 9090 port using kubectl so let's forward this port okay now it's forwarding now let's access so i'm going to copy my instance ip 
and it on browser and the port number is 9090. So as you can see, our guest book, right? That means we have successfully deployed our application using our Mercedes CLI, right? Okay. If you want to stop this, means if you want to pause or if you want to uh, re-enter any command, so you can simply control plus C and after that, that means uh, you, you can uh, you stop your uh, port forwarding, right? If you enter control plus Z, then that means uh, you pause your forwarding or port forwarding, right? So you need to enter control plus C, that means you Pause, sorry, you pause your forwarding port. If you control, enter control plus Z, that means you stop your forwarding port. Okay. Now, it's done. As you can see, we have successfully deployed our application. So, in this session, we have learned how to deploy application on Minikube using Argo CD CLI. So, thank you for watching and I hope you understand.